Friday, April 13th, 2018, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. I'm going to look at the uh, markets as usual, of course, but I want to look at gold. I want to tell people why they need to be patient uh, about gold uh, and uh, how it's going to be what's going to rebalance the whole global monetary and trading system and why it, it's the only thing or instrument, monetary instrument that can do it, especially in the fiat money system. And uh, I'll also uh, speculate on to why the West has been so, uh, has had this propaganda against gold, um, not encouraging it, the public to get into gold, and why <clears throat> the, uh, the East uh, has done the opposite and the rest of the world. Um, so before that, though, let's look at the markets. Uh, we had a very interesting day yesterday in the cryptocurrencies. Uh, I made a video uh, about EOS yesterday, uh, and then after I finished the video, uh, every it seemed like every other cryptocurrency caught up, or I don't think it was because of EOS. There must have been something going on, uh, difficult to say, but uh, Bitcoin got up to 8,000. So it was, uh, and uh, cryptocurrencies continue quite strong this morning. So it's just before 8 a.m., so let's look at the uh, the markets here. Uh, gold, of course, has been disappointing in the short term, but I'll show show you later on why I think, uh, as I said, people need to be patient. Um, gold is still the ultimate uh, store of value, and that uh, it will do really well for those who are patient and hold on to it as a savings. Uh, trading is a different game, of course. So right now, this morning. Uh, we are at 1337 in gold, up two bucks. Uh, the range has been 1334 to 1341.50 overnight. Silver at 1648, up two cents. Range has been 1644 to 1655. Uh, the Dow finished uh, well yesterday, but it did uh, close just below that 24,500 level. Uh, I think it closed around 24,485, something like that. I was watching it on the close, uh, the future. Uh, right now, uh, the future is up 42 at 24,530. So up uh, under 0.2%. The S&P is up three points, 2,666. Uh, 2, the Nasdaq is uh, future is unchanged. Currencies, uh, uh, the pound is up uh, 20 pips against the dollar, 142.47. Euro is actually unchanged, and uh, the dollar is uh, uh, stronger against the yen. We are at 107.60, up a quarter of a percent. So, uh, gold and why we need to be patient. Uh, before I go into the charts. I'll uh, explain why I think uh, gold will be the ultimate uh, instrument that the powers that be will use to rebalance the, the, the world's uh, monetary system and also the world's trading system because there is definitely a problem right now with the uh, surpluses and deficits uh, in trade, not only for the U.S., but uh, for other countries. The U.S. is the biggest problem in terms of deficit. And, and I've spoken about that before. It's because the U.S. has had the, the global reserve currency, uh, fiat money global reserve currency, and every other country in order to uh, perform uh, trade and uh, commercial transactions worldwide, uh, they need to have dollars. So they'll try to earn uh, as many dollars as possible. And the way they do that is by uh, devaluing their currency to try to sell cheaper goods, and and that's why we are we are where <laughs> we're at right now. That's why there are trade frictions, uh, and uh, gold uh, is the ultimate, uh, in my opinion, the best. It's not the perfect, the most perfect, but it's proven for thousands of years to be the ultimate. Uh, how can I say measure of value? It's like a yardstick, 
and uh, we need to uh, use it for global trade. Prior to 1971, under the Bretton Woods system, uh, uh, trade imbalances weren't uh, as severe uh, because the U.S. had most of the world's gold after World War II. Uh, I, I think it's actually been a rebalancing on purpose, maybe. Uh, maybe the powers that be uh, thought that uh, the gold had to be distributed more uh, evenly worldwide so we could have a peaceful, prosperous uh, system. Am I saying that's right? Um, no, but uh, they had to do it like like this, I think, because it would uh, uh, not really be very popular in the United States because um, the United States, you know, the people think, yeah, we had uh, two thirds of the gold because we fought in these two wars and we won and we did the right things and we we worked hard for it. And uh, I think that's why. And that's why we're seeing the gold flow east. Uh, and, and so there's a rebalance. That's the only way the world can rebalance. I mean, uh, and, and, and as I said, I'm not saying this is right. And so that's why I think uh, we will ultimately see uh, gold uh, reset higher. And uh, people won't even know that that... Uh, the rebalancing is happening. I mean, we will know, but uh, the general public, I think, it will be ignorant of that. Uh, and why Why can't they just devalue the dollar? Well, because if they devalue the dollar, uh, they have to devalue it against other fiat currencies. Uh, and then the other fiat currencies will devalue, so it won't work. The only uh, ultimate uh, currency monetary uh, measurement that uh, can all currencies can devalue against will be gold and that's the only way it will work and that so I want to talk about a few charts because actually I know the uh, price action has been a bit frustrating in gold it looked like uh, two days ago on Wednesday we're gonna break out and we've actually come right back down but uh, first let's look at the mining stocks because I've noticed that some of my mining stocks have doing, been doing a lot better. They corrected a bit, but they're still doing a lot better than they were doing a week ago. So I wanted to have a look at the uh, uh, gold bug index. You can see here, uh, we've actually broken out of the resistance that we've had since, let's say, uh, the 21st of February. So we've made new highs, and yet we corrected yesterday down, but we're still above the breakout in the gold bugs index. The other thing I wanted to talk about why people need to be patient about gold is something called a running um, running flat correction and I have to give credit to uh, Ron Rosen for that and I'll put two links below in the description about this uh, technical work. Uh, well first of all what's a running flat correction? I'll read here from his uh, report. It says the running flat correction is the rarest form of and most powerfully bullish correction that any item can possibly undergo. Once the correction is complete, the item will perform a rare and intensely powerful bull move. And he quotes Elliott Wave Principle. It says, the forces in the direction of the larger tr trend are so powerful that the pattern becomes skewed in that direction. So what does that mean? Well, he's saying that... Uh, when I first read this a few years ago, I thought, this is strange. He's saying that actually gold, um, the top in gold, was at uh, 1,031 in 2008. Uh, even though we had a new top, <laughs> uh, in terms of Elliott Wave Count, he's saying that's uh, leg three. Uh, and the leg four has actually been higher at 1,045, and it usually doesn't work like that. Well, it's because it's a, a running flat correction. The, correct, uh, the market is so strong, and he's counting the gold bull market since 1999. He's counting uh, the legs since then, uh, and it's still it's such a powerful bull market that instead of gold correcting uh, and the fourth leg being below 1,030, uh, it was actually at 1,045. Uh, uh, that was the fourth uh, leg. Uh, and he 
uh, arrives at this conclusion because he looks at the dollar index, which is the anti-gold, of course, and he looks at the top bottom that uh, it made at the same time that gold made a, the high at uh, 1,031 in 2000, March 2008. He looks at the uh, low that the dollar index made uh, first quarter of 2008 at 7069. So he says that was the bottom in the dollar, and he's right. And that was the top in gold. And and right now, with the dollar index around 90, uh, it's still the, the dollar is still higher than it was in 2008. So let's have a look at gold here, a quarterly chart going back uh, to the 90s. And uh, we've got a moving average here, which Ron Rosen talks about as well. Uh, the blue one is the one-year moving average, and the green uh, line is the uh, two-year moving average. And you can see there uh, from uh, the first leg of this bull market, the blue line is always above the green. And uh, we've uh, and since the uh, beginning of 2016, the blue line has gone back above there. Recently, I think it was uh, third quarter last year, or before that uh, green line went back below the green, but we're now in a bull market because we are above that, uh, you know, the one year is above the two year. And the other thing I wanted to point out uh, is the running flat here in, in gold. So the leg three uh, of this uh, bull market then is the top in 2008 at, uh, at 1,030. Uh, and then you get the running flat correction. So leg A is the low in 2008 at uh, 682. And then leg B is the move to 1920. So, <laughs> so that's actually a correction <laughs> with a running flat. It's such a powerful market that the correction is actually higher. So you get that leg B. Uh, and then leg C is the move down to the low uh, in December 2015, uh, which it was 1,045. And that completes uh, uh, leg four, so of the Elliott wave count. So now we're in leg five. Uh, and uh, according to uh, Elliott wave studies, leg fives in uh, commodities like gold or precious metals, are usually uh, different from leg fives in uh, stocks because in stocks, uh, leg five uh, represents greed. In commodities, it re represents fear, uh, maybe because of war or inflation or, or crisis. So the leg fives in commodities are much, are, are, are much stronger than leg fives in stocks. So now I'll, I'll show you a shorter term this chart in a sh on a shorter term basis and I'll, I'll show you the really key level that we need to keep an eye on in gold. Uh, so I've drawn this horizontal line here and that's actually the uh, highest uh, quarterly settlement in gold, 132860. Uh, that was uh, in the in the third quarter of 2013 that was the highest that is the highest close we've had we are right now uh, we are above 132860 i know we've got till the end of uh, june till the first uh, second quarter ends but it definitely looks uh, like uh, we're trying to break out here and um, it's going to be a, a huge move according to uh, this uh, technical study of the running flat correction. So as you see there, a settlement above 132860 at the end of Q2 would be the highest close since the first quarter of 2013 uh, at 15, 1596.15. So, so that's why it's so important. I hope you guys understood this running flat correction. Uh, I'll put the links below in the description uh, for Ron Rosen's analysis. I think it's very interesting uh, and uh, I, I think everyone needs to uh, be patient and hold on to their physical gold. We're almost there. Um, 
it's this is I think uh, people would be uh, kicking themselves I think if they get rid of physical gold now or silver for that matter so if you enjoyed this video please like share it subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet you can follow me on steam at uh, slash dtube uh, and also on Twitter and like to thank everyone who uh, has been supporting the channel uh, I appreciate it um, my video yesterday was censored by YouTube uh, even though it was just about cryptocurrencies but uh, that's how it's going but uh, anyway I'll talk to you later uh, and uh, take care bye